One, two, three. Hello and welcome to Beam NG Drive. I'm your host, David and Art, and I am playing Beam NG on a Mac, and it is awful now. There's a couple of things. First of all, this is a Retina from 2012, so that's definitely part of the problem. But the fact that I'm even playing is phenomenal. I'm playing um, the DirectX 9 version 0.4.0.6. So 0.4.0.6. Uh, this is the version I'm playing here on my Mac. And again, I know it's, it's laggy. It, it's actually more laggy because I'm recording. Uh, it was not this laggy when uh, I was just playing without recording. So part of this is because of, I'm using OBS. Also, forgive the noise. I, I'm trying to record game sounds, right? Um, but you're also hearing the fan in my Mac because it is going crazy. But this is actually pretty freaking awesome. Oh, my gosh. Um, and this is like an old map I don't even think it exists anymore. Let's just see if we can throw my truck off the cliff or something. I don't know. Hey, go this way. Yahoo! Oh, there we go. Oh. That is so cool. Holy cow. So the way I got this to work was uh, following multiple steps from different sites. The first thing I did was grab a program called Crossover, and you can, uh, I should have put some mods in just for the heck of it. Um, man, I may have to play with that some. Okay, so what vehicles did this come with? The 200BX, the Grand Marshal, the Covet, the Moonhawk, the Bullide, the Sunburst, the Pigeon, and then some of the other stuff. Oh, we also have the Roamer. Oh, the D-Series and Roamer, which used to be lumped together. And then we have the T-Series and the H-Series. So, you know what? I say we, uh, let's grab the Sunburst. Oh, look at this. Oh, my gosh. This is so, so old looking. Okay. Um, we'll do this. Sure. And replace. No idea how this is going to work or if it's going to work. But anyway, um, you get crossover, and it's got a 14-day trial period, so you can try it out for 14 days. And then after that, I think it costs like 60 bucks, which sounds like a lot, but that's pretty much the cost of a game. So, you know, if you can get a whole, if you get crossover, which lets you run Windows programs on your Mac, for the price of one PC game anyway, it might be worth it. Now, again, this is pretty laggy while I'm recording. So, it's, I, I don't know. And I, and I can't wait to see the actual recording. Holy cow, this is so hard to drive like this. Um, but, oh my gosh, this is so cool. And then, uh, once you get crossover, you install uh, Steam, and you add the DirectX 9 uh, for modern Windows into your bottle. So that, that way it's got the DirectX stuff in there. And then uh, in order to run it, you actually have to um, you actually have to run the BeamNG command itself. You cannot run it from inside Steam because it crashes, at least it does for me. So I'm gonna attempt to switch windows so I can show you what that looks like. I have no idea what this is gonna do in terms of recording. So give me just a second here. I'm gonna try this, we're gonna see what happens. So if I change this to crossover scheme, what does that do? Um, okay. Okay, so this is, uh, and, and I apologize, let me see if I can bring this up a little bit. I, I don't know what this is doing <laughs> in the recording. So forgive me if it's all over the place. Um, but I actually had to, once I got Steam installed and up and running, um, I'm going to mute the game. Once I got Steam up and running, 
then um, I had to actually run command and go out and find the uh, command for bmng, and this window is running, but I can't find it. Okay, it's actually running. Oh, it's not letting me. I don't, I don't know what's happening. This, is this the window? I think this is the window. <laughs> so I went into run the command, uh, and then you browse, and inside your Steam bottle, you're going to have program files, Steam, um, then your um, Steam apps, common, BeamNG drive, and then you find your BeamNG drive file. Now, I, I do have to back up, and, and I apologize, I forgot. Um, you actually have to go into Steam, and in Steam, you have to download a particular version of the game. Um, let me see real quick if I can get OBS to switch over to that. Um, well, that was supposedly Steam, but that's not Steam. Is that not Steam? So let me see what happens if I run Steam. I run Steam? Wait, that's not what I'm looking That's not where I am. Sorry, sorry, I'm, I'm used. So, oh, well, because Steam thinks I'm running BMNG. Okay, so I'll tell you what, let's, uh, let me get out of this for a second. Okay, awesome. So now I'm in Steam, and what I had to do was go to my library. Once you get signed in, you get it installed, and you find your game in the library. And let me just make sure this is recording. Nope, that is not what I need. Okay, hang on. I'm getting there. Um, there's, oh, Steam. There we go. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Uh, okay, so we have Steam going. So when you find your BeamNG in your list, you right-click on it, go to Properties, and I hope that's all showing up. It may not be. I, I don't know. But anyway, you go to the Properties. You go to Betas. You choose the DX9 No Updates version, and you leave the rest of this blank. Don't do anything here. Hit Close. Tell it to download, it'll download it. it. And again, it will not work when you run it from Steam. Okay, so once you get it downloaded, um, then you pop back over to your, um, uh, yeah, sorry. You pop back over to Crossover. And let me change back over to Crossover. So you change back over to crossover, and again, you run the command, go find your BeamNG, and uh, evidently it works. I, I, I'm really surprised. I did not realize that was actually going to um, work. And one thing I didn't do was, so. Um, very, very cool. I don't know. Uh, anyway, so there it is. That is BeamNG running on a very old uh, MacBook Pro. But, I mean, on a modern one, holy cow, I would love to see what that looks like. So, wow, there you go. Man, let me know what you think of that. Questions, problems, suggestions, horror stories, feel free to leave those down in the comments section below. And thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time on Beam NG Drive.